Hello again folks and welcome to a new let's play this is Jack and Daxter the precursor legacy a um, PlayStation 2 game that honestly as much as I love my PlayStation 2 it's been a little bit of nah, and physical media is nah, so I had gotten this for relatively cheap in a bundle with uh, the first three Jack and Daxter games on the PlayStation 3 and uh, honestly this is a nice little upgrade everything looks graphically impressive and uh i actually can't wait to dive into this especially seeing as i had kind of mixed feelings about vex which by the way if you didn't see the vex let's play and um want to see how that turned out uh there's a playlist on my channel but this is something a little bit less edgy and honestly my first actual foyer into playstation collectathons so um let's start I did do a little bit of testing, but I don't think it's saved properly, so. Yep. Nope, it did. <laughs> That's fine. We're just going to override it. Saving. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy, oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research, or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! <laughs> Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? Okay, 
I'm fine. I'm fine. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. Ah, uh, I've missed such awesome 3D graphical styling. Oh no, there was just something about the uh, PlayStation 2 era and the way that things were animated that was just. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Had its own personality. That's what I was trying to get. Let's see, was square to attack. Pretty simple attack. Don't combo. Got circle to do this. It's spinny, spinny. We do have a double jump, which is just kind of necessary when it comes to collectathon style games. God, I remember having used to play this for hours on end as a kid. Precursor. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. I won't lie too, one of the reasons why I had looked back into this game besides the Vex is uh, a precursor orbless run done by Game Champ 3000. Punch the things. It's pretty interesting and funny. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-Grab Zoomer. And I think, unlike Vex... I forgot that happens automatically. And unlike Vex, I'm going to attempt to um, collect all the Precursor Orbs in this because there is a special super chocolate-coated ending. Whack. Jump over the spikes. Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it, hands first. I feel like that looks like he's face planting. So these guys, unless uh, hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of 
them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. Yeah, so collect six, seven of these guys. Well, bam, another precursor orb. <laughs> wow! That last scout fly had a power cell. I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Don't want to do that, just. Oh, wait. Let's see. That's duck rolling. Brings up that. Hmm. Trying to us to look around. Are there precursor orbs? Well, regardless. So yeah, as said, when you are traversing this area. Notice how each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. What he said? Haunch. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. Real quick though, I'm gonna go back to that beachy area. Whoop. I think there's something I have missing there. It's either that there's a, something missing or there's just... I think there was an orb. Yeah, at least a couple of orbs. I like those things. And yeah, we do get a little blue gauge that tells you how long it's, uh, how long the blue energy lasts. But you might be thinking, oh, but how are you going to open the door with no energy? That was weird. There might be a few glitches in this remaster. Might. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. And this is how. Completely fills us up. You just need to be careful with the blue eco. It does tend to um, make you run a little bit too fast sometimes. Sometimes. Good work. The blue eco caused the door to open. With blue eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. What do you said? Platforming. Far more simplistic platforming than in the uh than in Vex, but you know, I'll, I'll try to keep the comparisons as little as possible. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. And by increase, he means a store. Uh, you'll see at the top left, we have an amount. But once we get 50, we can... It effectively counts as a, a additional hit. Then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Yeah, that's all 50 of the orbs here. He also fails to mention that you can also jump, jump again, and then use our circle to get a little bit more air. And a little bit more, uh... Yeah. A little bit more air, a little bit more distance. Also, you might be asking, hey, how do you know if you got all the precursor artifacts here? This. Start button. Nope. Just need to press start to get out of there. And again, you do take fall damage, so be careful with that. And then, press the button to return. Training, boys, but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. 
And then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My Don Green Eco Collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Ah, there's just so much personality in this game, I love it. I never actually played through Jack, uh, Jack 2 and 3. I think it was because I saw I saw a friend play it for a little bit of a time, and then was like, "Hey, that looks like my this other game that I actually really like." Except edgy, yay, edgy! Everyone loves edgy. Hey, baby, what do you say you and I go cruising on this A grab zoomer? Rule number one: I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. I forget who her voice actor is. It's a very prominent one, I thought. Damn it. This is this is gonna be one of those games where it's like. Gotta get this heat shield working. This is one of those games where it's like, oh man. I know I heard that voice before in some other game or some other some cartoon or something. And it's gonna drive me nuts. A lot of 2000s games are like that. Also, this game has a day-night cycle thing. Dig it. Hello. Hello. Hey! It looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. Yes. Did we not know this? Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. <laughs> Jack being an animal is funny. Or Daxer being an animal is funny. Do they ever re really refer to him by Daxer in this game? I can don't know. It's been forever since I last played this. Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys? See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah, hmm? oh, oh, you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is, a, oh, a very modest, 90 precursor orbs. So yeah, collect every single precursor orb that you can find in the game. Hello. Yeah, you can always tell that they're, those things are close by by the sound. That annoying... Annoying sound. I think there's one down there. Yep. 
Three, three scout flies. Ah, ah, ah. And we don't want to go out of town just yet. We got more people to talk to. Hey, little furry dude. Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. Your what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island! Are we? <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. Let's see, where's that part? Ah, there you are. Got fly. Get me. Also, do not go do too deep into the water here. Oh, man. The, he doesn't like that idea either. But that's mostly because we might die. Could have sworn that there was a run button. No. No. Yeah, L1 and R1 both do this dodge roll thing. Uh, let's talk to the crazy chicken lady. Oh my, what a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a spotted orange bellied rain friend. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flut flut near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor and I'll give you a power cell. Man, you gotta wonder, what would the, uh... Face curse of orbs effectively being like, I don't know, a dollar. Are orbs worth like a hundred? They're a hundred dollars. I'm assuming that's the currency around here now. Mm, gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those Henri yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get him back into the corral? I'm pretty sure it's worth a power cell, ain't it? Do, do more, and then we're good. So how do we crawl them? Give a whack. Get moving. A lot easier done than in, um... What's the dude What's that other game I played? Neopets, Darkest Fairy. Oh. Get in there. Ooh. Precursor orbs. Yeah, that goes off to Fire Canyon. Can't go there yet. We just needed those. Yes, I did see those, uh... Flutter bot things flies. You know, these guys don't look all that... Bad. Kinda thought that they might be a little bit... I don't know. Kinda cute. Kinda like a video game version of a cow. Moving bar. Get. Get up. Keep going. Get in there. All of them? Nope. Oh. One chilling out over here. Nope. Other way. Other way. 
What are you doing? Get on, little doggy. Nope. Ah, not the way. That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Hey now. He doesn't have the legs to do what we do. Like float in midair for a whole two seconds. Oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Pretty sure you were already sleeping in peace just fine, sir, but alright. Power cell's a power cell. Yeehaw. Achievements. Forgot that those were taking. Uh, I've been playing away. Well, I'd say too many PlayStation 2 games on official hardware, but there's no such thing as too many PlayStation 2 games. Especially when the official hardware actually works. Alright, collect those. Just one more over there. Right? Yeah. Wow! Check out that funky sculpture sitting on the rocks over there. It's got a couple of precursor orbs in it. Or uh power cells. Ooh, that was close. So if you do go too deep into an water area, you will in fact have a bad time. Unlike, I was about to say all unlike right. Vex, but you know what? You found all the scout flies in this area. I was about to say, you know, unlike Vex, but you know what? Too late. Unlike Vex, there's no um, pointless lives system, as I seem to recall. Like you have life. This must be a precursor oracle, like the sage always goes all about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Who awakens the oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Cool. So, come back here with 240 and we're fine. Okay. It's not deep water, so we're fine. I love how he actually does wade through the water. Just a nice little touch. Let's see, what was it? Man, it's just gonna drive me crazy until I figure it out. And again, it, the game does tell you when you've collected all the precursor orbs and power cells in an area, so we're missing some within this place alone. How many do I need? Nope, that's Central Beach. Is it... The... Oh, right. Uh, X. Oh, there's still another... Another 21 in here. Somewhere. Oh, wait. How much of the beach counts as... Sandover... Village? I got the name right, right? Pretty sure I did. Remember, every nook and cranny. Which honestly, there's not too, too much to this game to be looking in every nook and cranny sort of a thing. But I suppose it can feel a little repetitive with how, uh... Jack likes to move. Let's not collect that one. Might need it. Hmm. Oh, that's the beach, though. Also, I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed so far, but the music is pretty goddamn good. Oh, okay, I see, I see. I didn't go up here yet. So, uh, remember what was said about those... I bet we can get this open if 
you power up with that zappy blue eco stuff, we scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already. Let's see, did we collect... Oh, there's six remaining. I want to collect those six before we call it a video. I just have no clue where the hell they were. They weren't in the house. Can I punch you? No. I mean, I can, but I can't. I've already jumped up to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Maybe. I think the other way, leading into the Forbidden Jungle or whatever it was called, was the... There might be a little bit more to that area. Well, a little bit more of this area before that area, that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's all 50 that are in the village. A boo, a ya. Am I gonna get a uh, achievement for every area of one of those? Probably. Hmm. Do I give him over to the mayor first, or do we go... Wait. I'm suddenly wondering whether or not... Hmm. Give me the chicken lady first. Or the uncle. No, wait. Chicken lady didn't, didn't need any. Eh, let's do our uncle pin over here. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, ta-ta, bye-bye. Pip, pip, cheerio. That's seven, and we're down to ten orbs again. Well... We're going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, we are, shall continue to scour through the place for more power cells in the hopes that maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to continue the game. So, I hope you guys uh, are going to enjoy this as much as I am. I've been looking forward to playing Jack and Daxter ever since I started playing Vex. I was like, man, this is fun, but I like Jack and Daxter. <laughs> Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far as much as I know I'm going to enjoy it and as always I hope to see you guys in the next video take care cheers